Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokul Lover, and we shall continue our Hearts of Iron 4 in the name of the Tsar mod, playing as the Russian Empire. So, uh, I'm currently looking to see if I had made any naval bombers. It says I have 247. Um, fighters. They are somewhere. Oh, they're, oh, they're there. They're right at the top. What am I doing? I'm playing stupid. All right, that's good. Because in this episode, we are most likely going to go to war with the uh, allies. So, uh, a few things to address first. Uh, someone did mention this. First off, I did check the beginning of the game, or at least the beginning of the mod. And uh, Bursa was originally Turkish. It was not Greek or Russian. It was not Russian but or Greek, but now it is going to be Greek. And, uh, yep, I never owned it, so that's why I gave this to the Turks instead of giving it Mersin, just because it has no port. And Antalya has a port. But this region of Mersin does not, so I'm like, eh, I'll just keep this to the Greeks so it gives me a little buffer state here. And then I did mention something about taking from something from Bohemia, or, you know, Chechi, Chechi. Bohemia, but nothing really transpired there. I mean, they look pretty normal to me. I mean, they have the forest region from Austria, but Austria, of course, will get Bergenland once we go to war with the Allies. Now, I am just am anticipating a huge war against the Allies because I want Rome. Rome, we shall have three Romes. We'll have the first Rome, followed by Tsargrad, and then Moskva, or Moscow. That's Smolensk. So that's our goal. We shall at least, by the end of the episode, be at war with them. Hopefully I can cover all my stations up first. But let us go and justify on the Chinese. Add at least one more ally to our great faction. Also, I was contemplating invading Sweden as well as Norway. Just because that would give us a little bit more of a... Uh, hopefully an Atlantic advantage, I could say. An Atlantic advantage. Maybe get to Nor Denmark as well. So, I think that would be... A good idea to maybe try to invade at least Sweden, perhaps. This way we can protect the Black Sea up here. 135 days, that's not bad, especially if we're going to go to war with the Chinese here first. Which, of course, we saw soldiers coming across from Europe to get there. It's 1944, of course, everyone. Happy 1944. We could go with better naval stuff, which I'm thinking we shall do that. We want to produce outdated stuff. And the time of this recording, yesterday, there was an update for the regular Hoi4 uh, subreddit where the developers talked about out outfitting ships with better guns, upgrades, even if the ships themselves are outdated. So, it's kind of a... It wasn't a large dev diary, but it was something to look forward to, especially concerning ships, especially when they... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Especially when we're... Uh, Looking to play some more Hoi 4 and see what the naval um, meta will be in the future. And they're going to go to war with the Turks, apparently. Oh boy. So, obviously they have puppet a war goal against the Ottoman Confederacy. That's not good for us. But we better be ready to defend our ships. So we have our ships here, 12 battleships, that's pretty good. Three, two battle cruisers, three heavy cruisers, 37 light cruisers, 19 destroyers, and 6 subs. Um... I mean, we're already here in the Middle East for that section. Kuwait, uh, we'll just need to literally walk into Kuwait City. Uh, against the Allies, we're planning on defending here just because I have a few forts already here. And Afghanistan wants guarded stuff. Hopefully, I can go to war with Sinkiang before we go to war with everyone else. We should be able to take him out. Uh, I still have my soldier station around here in Asia. Most notably, Russian Manchuria. How, is, how are they doing? It's been a while. Ooh, Ukraine yacht class. Light cruiser. Very nice. Uh, let's see. You, that's good. Let's make, ooh, better battleships. Another 32 days, good. How many days for the light cruisers? Yeah, we can get rid of this one. I guess for now, we'll actually give it some upgrades. Uh, keep up the speed, anti, ooh, well, that's less range. That'd be good. That's a little better. We'll do that. Light cruiser is right here. And then we'll change it. Change this one once it finishes making its other light cruiser. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, so we can add the state of Xinjiang, or really Muslim Chinese people. That will give us at least another small little uh, line against India. 
that we could attack them from the north. It looks like Japan has pushed in a little bit into Siam. Not very much, but a little bit, which is you know, fine and dandy. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's really not much I can do else with my political power, like I've said in the past, like, 17 episodes. Uh, let's see, what are we building for anything else? Nuclear reactors, good. Some civilian factories, a lot of infrastructure. I want to say we need more military factories, so let's build some of those. And I guess Minsk as well. Because we are not making any medium tanks, that's going to be a problem, because we're making a lot of fighters. Alright, we're making some more naval bombers, which is good. Uh, if we are going to war with the Allies, I want to make sure that this section of the seas, the Black Sea, is protected. Air duction is done. Army knows best for stability, but I don't need that. Anything that will help me against the war against the Allies. Fighter efforts. Close air support. Naval efforts. Naval bombers. Research bonus of naval bombers plus air support. Uh, let's go with fighters first, because fighters are always good. Have we researched fighters? 1944 fighters yet? Yeah, we're researching it already, and we're doing both, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just... Tactical bombers. Ah, screw it, whatever. Doesn't really matter to me. Let's see, is there anything we can do here? Do we need steel? No, we, we're, we're good on steel. We're really good on steel. Alright, how many more days until the UK is... Oh, it's getting closer. It's definitely getting closer. And we can go ahead and declare war on the Chinese, which would be fine with me. We do have our navy here in the in the Mediterranean. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see, so you guys, you should be split up like here and go down there, and then uh, split this in half. I want to send one of you here and come down there, and then one of you over here next to Greece, and continue, and you will pummel the crap out of the Eastern Mediterranean. That'll be good. Ooh, if I could actually have some in Cyprus itself. Add 200 more naval bombers, because the Allies' navy is spectacular compared to mine right now. Let's see, fighters. I need to get rid of a lot of these crappy fighters. Fighter 1s, fighter 1s, fighter 1s. Strategic bombers are okay. War fighters. Now, there's some more fighters, but we're going to need them for the Balkans and whatnot. Let's see. Fighter 1s. As much as they're kind of outdated, that's okay. They're better than having nothing. And then, interval bombers. There we go. Actually, if you can, if you're set to 400, that'd be good. Ooh, better. Nice. Uh, split you in half. Or not. Nah, they're still deploying. Alright. Anyway. Good, that's good. 244. Let's get some better radar, because radar is good for helping detect where enemies are going to be at. Oh, good. It just finished. Let's get the next better... Can we actually upgrade this one more time? That would reduce reliability. And we don't have enough for it, so... That's fine. Better fighters, of course. Uh, since it's fighters 3s, you want better engines. Actually, I can just straight up upgrade that. 3, better, slightly better range. Slightly better weapons. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, that's good. And, of course, we need to make more medium tanks. Oh, wait, we need to be at war right now with the Chinese. You guys go here, you guys go here, you guys go here, and then you guys go here. Good. If you guys... Oh, that's a lot of infantry equipment that we do not need. We've got a lot of PPSHs, PPSH-41s. Good. Fighters, let's get rid of a lot of these crappy ones. We'll keep the I-15s, or L-15s, whatever that is, first. Um, not sure why we have those, but whatever. Fighters, of course. Technical bombers, we are out. Alright, you guys. Nope, oh, that's India. You guys. Go ham. Calling in all my allies compared to all these other mods I've been playing, or have played, it's been a lot more smooth. It game doesn't just like like have to hard stop, which is really kind of nice in this mod. It's a, a really good positive in this mod, I would have to say. But the game just does not like, oh, I've got to freeze for like five minutes. No, this game's like, eh, we'll slow down a little bit, but no, we'll still be there. Ooh, better uh, battleships, nice. And of course, you have to go get battleship level super heavy, heavy super heavy battleship level twos right next. Good, and now the allies will declare war any minute. 
and this way, if they declare war on the Ottoman Confederacy, I will be the defender, and they will be the aggressors. Ah, uh, diplomacy. Uh, they're super close. They are actually running out of manpower like crazy. They still have a bunch of ships. Japan has... Still has 40. It's kind of interesting that they haven't fully committed their complete entire navy yet. I'm trying to kill them, but... Oh well. Uh, maybe you guys should be a little bit less aggressive. Victor Brusila. Someone told me that he is like 91 years old at this point, so... I guess I'll be a little lighter on him. I mean, he is fighting in Asia, but not against a super, super powerful enemy. Good, that battleship is done. Level 4 battleship, please. Oh, yeah, they didn't win that battle. Whatever. We're just here to take as much territory before they capitulate anyways. Oh, that's you. Oh, and that state of Xinjiang is done. We will add the Muslim Chinese to our nation. Or at least to our affection. And of course there's no event to do that. So let's go ahead and auto-release them. This way they have a little bit of time. I want to give that to Qing China or the Japanese Empire. No. Yeah, no. This way they have maybe a few days time to prepare for the coming onslaught. Good. So go ahead and make reform your line. So now we have a massive northern front against the Japanese, if they so choose to attack. You are guarding this entire front with infantry, which is fine. Just make sure you don't lose anything here. Because if you do, that would be very bad. Uh, let's see, you are down here guarding against... Oh, you would be the gatekeepers of Africa. The Italians are in Kuwait. And... Uh, I could... I don't really want to advance into India. So with the Vodusilov, you know what? You'll guard Kuwait. Yeah, it's 24 divisions against one might be a little much, but it's what I've got at the moment. And apparently the UK has probably finished their focus. They're focusing on naval production now. Um, come on, you want to puppet them? I wish I could send like a diplomatic insult. Like in, was it? Art Europa Universalis 4? I sent Atache. Volunteers, Seijuku, no, there's nothing like that. That's, un that's disappointing. I wish I could send an insult be like, you should declare war on me. Your soldiers are garbage. But nope, there is no such thing as that. Well, that taken care of. Maybe we can take a quick look at Sweden. Swedes would be a little tough to crack. But uh, the Hungarians also tried to form some sort of fight against me, but they didn't really want to. Maybe I can use my tanks to good measure in Sweden, especially with this infrastructure that's probably not very good. Good. Ooh, territory class. Good. That's very good. We make super heavy battleships level 2. That's done. Let's continue focusing on our air doctrine, because that's going to be playing a huge role in the future. I'm surprised they've not declared war, but I told you, we will be at war with the Allies before we are fully done here. But at least, I actually didn't show you who owns the state of Xinjiang. So little by Zi Zhao. Good. A little bit of manpower, not very much, but eh, better than nothing. But that definitely gives us a little bit more strategic power in the world. We could take out Tibet and Nepal and Bhutan, but I don't believe we'll have enough time before we actually go to war with the Allies. It's good. Good. Naval bombers. Let's focus on some naval bombers as well. Tanks. They've got a little bit, few more military factories. So that's great. Got a few more naval bombers. Love it. Let's see. Naval bombers, you're going to definitely need a few planes. Oh, well, I could build actually an airbase here. That would be really good. I'll give him like that level ports and an airbase. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, da -da -da. Good. Is there any other ports around here? Uh, we should probably actually build up an airbase here, just because we might attack Norway, we're going to attack Sweden. I need more civilian factories. <laughs> it's good that we're trying to produce some. Alright, I've got a lot of political power once again. We should probably hire a new general, because I don't believe everyone has a general portrait. This guy is actually led by Pieter. Uh, we could probably cool it on this now, because I know I'm going to lose a couple of coastal defense divisions eventually. Ooh, fighter efforts, very nice. Uh, let's go with naval effort, just because we are trying to make more naval bombers. Be good. Yes, yes, yes. How many more days? 
Let's see. Ten more days before we go to war with Sweden, who may end up allying with the Allies. They hold our core provinces. I do? No, I don't. This is not a core province of you. God, no. Oh, God, no. You know. Oh, this is hurting our, our uh, supplies and whatnot. Ooh. Sounds good. Well, the best way to get rid of supply issues is just take the other person's territory, right? Improving relations. That's okay. Hope I didn't call any allies in, but that's okay. Go ahead if you can. Just move straight on in. Hopefully you guys can do well. They're dug in. We're attacking across rivers. That's not a good idea. But we're still breaking their divisions regardless. Oh, I saw forces here. Huh. Oh, boy. I forgot about that. Yeah, they've got some ships here. Um, da -da -dum. Oh, wait. Oh, we're bombing their ships. Good. Oh, and they... That's quick. They already navally inv invaded us. And of course, I don't have any ships over here. I do have some subs over here. You can probably do some convoy escorts. Do not engage right here. And those Swedes were killed. That was fast. That was very fast. Go ahead and keep taking as much territory as you can before you lose all your organization. Oh, nice. We sunk a destroyer. That's good. Fighter baiting. Good. I like fighter baiting. And at this point, we should probably justify on... I suppose Italy. I wish this war between... Oh, wow. 15 days? Wow. I wish the war were... What was I... What am I going to say here? I wish I well this is what I want to say. I wish that the war between Japan and the Allies was taking more casualties. Just because Japan's lost a million, that's not bad. The UK's lost uh eight hundred thousand. But it's not as fierce, I would say, as some of the other wars. It seems almost relatively tame. Well wow. oh they're on all adults serve now, that's good. For us, I suppose. Uh, India, so has a ton of manpower. Kingdom of Egypt, Western Africa has over 3 million. France has 300,000. Spain has about a million. So, we keep losing a few planes, but that's alright. The tanks up north are doing alright. Yeah, we're going to need better infrastructure. Most definitely. Yeah, you come here and you come here. You just got to keep moving. Move, 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 move. Terrible part of Sweden to try to invade. Absolutely terrible. Right. We lost another plane, but we did sink up a level 2 destroyer. Lost another plane, but <clears throat> sunk a level 1 destroyer. One way to get some air experience without costing us too much, because every plane you lose, like, you only lose, like, one guy, probably. So that's only a plane. Yeah. It's just a little slow going, because infrastructure isn't super great. I guess my guys probably don't have air superiority, so they can't move super fast. So, I mean, there's give and take. Some good, some positive, some not so good, some not so positive. Another destroyer was sunk. Very good. Lost another plane. Lost three planes there. Sweden. Their manpower is about to run out on all adults served. Wow. Uh, their ships are a little bit less than 60 ships. 10 divisions in total. Ooh, naval effort. N very nice. And better radar. Okay, strategic bombers. Um, it's okay. I suppose we could do that. We're going to have need strategic bombers eventually anyways. Let's go ahead and keep doing some radar. So let's go here. We'll want to build you up first. Where else would be an extremely important place to build up? Zagreb would be extremely important to build up. Anywhere we have going to maybe fight the Allies. Germany, most definitely. Uh, we definitely want it where we've already placed them. Of course, Crimea. And I suppose up here as well. A few more planes. Uh, hey, we sunk two more destroyers. I like seeing things or enemies sunk. I don't like seeing my things sunk, of course. That's just me. I only put like 200 naval bombers here anyway, so that's not bad for what they're doing. Let's see. You guys, yeah, just head straight on in if you can. Ooh, we have planes. Good. Lapland. We can try to build that up. Wow, that's this is a resource-rich area of Sweden. We took a bunch of tungsten, steel, and... Uh, chromium? That's really, that's really, really good. Actually, you just, just go right here and you can cut them off. Their defense will crumble quite quickly if you can. You might get encircled, but that's alright. 
We can break you out if needed. Uh, let's see. Let's get some more generals. Let's see. You, you're just kind of hanging out. How long is my aggressive policy for? Until 1945, January? We'll have to redo that, but that's alright. Let's get a new commander. Oh, we already have another one. Ooh. Oleg Azarov. Very nice. Oh, we sunk a light cruiser and a destroyer. Very good. Another destroyer sunk. Another destroyer. I uh, lost a plane. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. And we sunk a destroyer, but we also lost a plane. Good. Good. Giving Boris some much-needed experience in the field. Especially since he's not been really fighting for quite a while. Yeah, and the Swedes are now faltering quite a bit. You know, I guess they went to all adult serve because they were already out of manpower. That's interesting. Ah, oh, good. That's been done. Encircled. Finished. Just keep going. Keep going. You can't really pause here too much. And we'll have to re-justify on, on the Italians. Which won't take that very long at all. Good. Nice. If that air experience keeps going up. Well, at least a little bit at a time. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. Super left. Good. Good. Yeah, we're not even using super good naval bombs. We're using level 1s. Now we're playing with level 2s. Good, 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 good. Ooh, we sunk two sub or two destroyers and a sub. Ace pilot promoted, very nice. A level two destroyer, level two destroyer, level two destroyer. Oh, and my subs are trying to escort my convoys. We lost two subs already. They're not super good at all, but that's all right. Oh, so this is not a great battle for us. So what has happened? We lost ten subs, which is really bad. Three convoys, and then we sunk five ships in total. That's all right, that's not terrible. Up, oh, and my subs are getting destroyed. Because I can't click on them. Go home, go home. Uh, just come here. I mean, if you get destroyed, I mean, they're level one. I'm not going to cry about, you know, if I lose level one submarines. So. Oh, we sunk a sub ourselves. Sunk a light cruiser, sunk another light cruiser. Okay, so we lost a plane, but sunk two more light cruisers. We lost three subs, and then we sunk another light cruiser, and lost two more subs, and sunk or shot down four enemy planes. Light cruiser gone. Good. Light cruiser. Light cruiser. A lot of light cruisers. And that time also contained a heavy cruiser. Yeah, guys, come on. Hurry up, please. Just hurry up. There's only so much time we have. Oh, good. We sunk three different types of ships. And we lost a convoy. Ooh. Very nice. All metal design. Or new type of naval bomber. Uh, it is 1945. This game should be wrapping up within the next couple episodes, but we do have to go to war first. I'm not even using level 3 medium tanks yet. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, guys. I've been faltering in my duty as a proper Tsarist, promoter of Tsar ideals. So bad. So bad of me. So bad. Just go ahead. Just go. Like, I don't care what's in your way. I want you to G. O. Go. Yeah, Boris, you're not being very super aggressive as much as I would like. Ooh. Destroyer's gone. A heavy cruiser's gone. Soldier's gone. How many men have, have we lost? 51,000 versus 88,000. Mm -hmm. That's not as good as I hoped, but that's all right. Call in all our allies, see what if they join us or not. All right. And they're not that... Close to capitulation, but they will be eventually. Destroyers versus subs and naval bombers. Hmm. Does have, oh, it does have an airbase. Nice. Let's add some more naval bombers here. Good. And do we have any fighters? Fighter ones. Oh, we got quite a few fighters here. I'm liking this. We really ramp up our production of planes right now. What is this? Naval what? Pit naval bombers. You shall come down here to the Mediterranean. Good. This is looking pretty darn good at the moment. Pretty darn good. Come on. Let's 
You just cut these guys off. Alright. Low echelon support. Very good. Let's get fighter detection increased. And now with 400 more naval bombers, we should really be able to finish off a huge portion of the Swedish Navy. Uh, good. Eight ships are left. Are there only eight ships left? Guys, please, go. Please, go. Oh, maybe that's not everyone on part of that order. There you go. That should work a little better now. Go straight to Stockholm if you can. Baltic Sea. Uh, what's going on here in the Baltic Sea? Alright, not bad. Ooh, that's a convoy. Let's look at a destroyer. Go straight for the capital. Straight for the throat. Sub. Very nice, very nice. Destroyer. Very good, very good. Oh, and they're also defending Stockholm. Kind of figured that would happen. We can surround Stockholm, that'd be good. Oh, looks like someone else is justifying on us. The Ottoman Confederacy is justifying on us, but don't think that should happen. But nevertheless, death to Persia. Please don't tell me you actually declare war on Persia. Seeks to end religious schism. Ah, Muslims, why do you have to be so divided sometimes? All right, let's go ahead and re-justify on the Italians. Because we will need to go to war with them extremely soon. Extremely, extremely soon. Good, we've cut off Stockholm, at least land-wise, from everyone else. Uh, I'm sure they've got a few level... Oh, level 10 four. that's pretty strong. And then come here to Stockholm if you can. Good, the army knows best. Come on, guys, please just take Stockholm. And now you're going to do some convoy raiding. So if you can't get supplies from the capital, I don't know what are you going to do about it. What are you going to do about it? And while we're trying to finish this area up. Wow, Stockholm is extremely tanky, even with air support. Single divisions. Letting them just hold barely on. How long do we have for our justification again? Until July 5th. A few months. Just a few months. I've lost probably over 100,000. 100,000 versus uh, almost 200,000 Swedes. And there they go. They have fallen. Or at least Stockholm has. Really? You're trying to surround this tank division. Yeah, go and take that Swede out. Go ahead and break their little encirclement they have with that one tank division down there. Ooh, better radar, very good. Even better radar will be necessary. Go ahead and go to Melmo, and if you have to, you can always retreat into the sea. Seriously, how are they not dead yet? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. You are just going to defend. Or not. Alright, so that battle will be over. We'll take Sweden, and we will instantly, almost instantly declare war on the Allies. And when we start our war with the Allies, a good place to attack is probably here in Austria. Through the forts. Because that never was a problem for anybody, ever. My government. Yeah, we'll definitely need to change our conscription levels probably once we put war with these guys. I want my tanks down there. We're going to release Sweden real quick. Uh, yes, I'm going to release Sweden. But they're not taking this. I'm taking this back, which is stupid. And I'm taking this area here of Gotland. Why? Well, because it gives me a little better base here to operate in. Good. Gotland is mine. This area, eh, it looks pretty much okay for now. Let's see, Gotland. Ooh, this would actually be a good place to boost that up. Boost this up as well. Uh, we don't have enough cover coverage here. Let's go with that. I will not end this episode until we actually are at war. So, we're going to wait for our tanks to get down there. Uh, tell our 
these guys, subs, to kind of keep defending. You've got a few too many guys here, but that's all right. Three, four. We'll send you over here. That's where probably most of the action will take place. Let's see, Baltic Sea for 200 fighters. I will need you in the Adriatic Sea. And then you fighters over here can come to the Adriatic as well. Come on, tanks, get down here real quick if you can. Oh, they're taking forever. They're taking so long to move. But we will be at war before I end the episode because there's no point to say that if I don't actually do something about it. Trade deal menu modifier. Ah, yeah, screw it. We get better trade deals. I like trade deals. What's the strength of Austria right now? They've got a few divisions, few, not very much manpower, to be expected. Bavaria, who's leading the Kingdom of Sweden? Sweden's led by Axel Persson Abramstorp. Uh, they almost have like literally no manpower because they refuse to give up uh, early on, so. Most Swedes are dead, but that's alright. They kind of deserved it. Alright, oh, we can make nukes. I love nukes. These, what we we're going to call the Tsar Bomb. Uh, better supply company is good. Come on, you guys should be down there by now. This is ridiculous. They are down there. See? I told you. Alright, let's go to war. Not with Austria, though. With the Italianos. So, with this war, this shall determine who will be ruler of the world. Minus North and South America. Um, I hope my fellow patriots understand that this is a necessary evil to reclaim what we have unfortunately lost or would like to move. Um, rejoin everyone with Rome's. Rome is and will be the third most important city in the Russian Empire, following Zagreb and then following Moscow. Ah, uh, yes, very good. Actually, now I've got to reform this entire front line, probably. Uh, once they all join in the war, though. So, we're not going to advance anywhere. France has joined, alright. Germany, what do you want to do? Oh, that's really nice that the nukes are over here. Panzers. Panzers? Uh, no, I don't want to get my convoy sunk. I'll, I should have enough eventually. France is called Italy. Munich. We'll read war with you guys. The Kingdom of Bavaria. No, not yet, so I'm going to wait. Convoys, convoys, convoys. We're sinking a couple things here to start off. Very nice. I forgot about these guys, so go right ahead, boys. Ah, and there we go, I believe. Oh my god, my guys are trying to attack, but that's not really working out well for them. Uh, no, we have not. Not Everyone's not in the war yet. That's a little disappointing. Can I declare war on you? Yes. Uh, I will also declare war on these guys. Uh, actually, I don't need to be at war with you yet, so... So now we should be able to make a good front line against everyone. Just got promoted. Well, I still can't do that. I need to be at war with Austria. Come on. There we go. No, what the fuck is going on? Call it arms. They're fighting with me. They're all fighting with me, yet I can't form a good front line here. What's going on? Front line. Okay, now I... Okay, so I was just mistaken. I couldn't do that earlier for some reason, so... That's okay. We're okay now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I saw shot down two convoys. Blew, blew them up. Good. Good. Oh, they're already trying to navally invade. Let's get some convoys. Good. Got that Australian spot. And now we'll launch with our tanks, and then call it an episode. You guys will come here, supported by even more tanks. But these tanks are just going to go around here. And then drive here, or so. And then maybe get to there. Something like that. What is air superiority like? Army knows best. We are losing the battle in Yugoslavia. Let's do advanced rocket rocketry research. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Let's see, this was taken out. Very nice. You can now help someone else out somewhere, which I will figure out in the next episode. So, we have launched Operation Roman Reclamation. We shall do our best to restore the Romes under one rule. As the... Oh god. 
the enemies are trying to naval invade Greece and the Mediterranean region. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. This is the current casualty rate, 31,000 for us versus their number of casualties. I don't know how much because this is mixed in with the Japanese Berlin back stuff. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you tomorrow as we try to press into allied lands. Thank you very much for watching.